Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a continuation of my video from last week which was on using the machine pads to create expressive sounds in Massive. And to do that, I created a simple template that sent MIDI control change data to some knobs in machine and in that way I was able to use the pressure of the pad um, to control different parameters inside Massive. And today I'm going to expand that concept to uh, show you how to do the same thing in Reactor and FM8 and Absinthe. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, coming out with a few new uh, machine tutorials every week. Alright, so I'm going to start out by creating the template that we used last week again. Um, for anybody who missed it, it takes about 30 seconds, so whatever. So just create a new template, and I'm going to go to page E here, and that's just going to give us the note range that is easier to play around with. And hold down the shift key. Let's go over to the Assign tab first, and then hold down the Shift key and press the last button, and we'll select all of our uh, pads at once. And I'm going to drag the minimum velocity up to 127, and that way our notes are going to play at maximum velocity no matter what. And we're going to use the pressure on the pad to control a parameter within a synthesizer. So we're going to go over to the Press tab and change the type to Control Change. And I'm going to set the number to 60. And that way all of our pads are going to send the same MIDI CC channel. And you can verify that by checking all the pads individually. And you can just close Controller Editor. And I'll start out by loading up Prism, which I'm pretty sure comes with Machine. And I'll just load up a patch with that. And by double clicking on the little icon here, we can open up the Prism interface. Alright, I'm going to just choose something a little more standard sounding to start out here. Okay, so all of the NI stuff kind of opens in these um, performance views in Machine, and we can access the fuller view of the instrument by pressing on this little pencil button up here. When we do, we'll just get the full reactor interface, which will allow us to get a little bit more power. If this magnifying glass icon is not turned on, uh, just click it and turn it on, and that'll give us access to the side pane over here. And we can select the MIDI tab, and this will give us access to all of the MIDI assignments for our instrument. So I'm going to right click on a knob and select the MIDI Learn option and press a note. And you'll notice that the assignment shows up in our MIDI pane over here. But you'll notice I kind of did it wrong. Um, it's assigned our note to control the knob instead of the control change value. So in order to get rid of this incorrect assignment, we can um, select the assignment and then click on this little trash can button down here. And we can drag the icon next to the control change 60 uh, value and drop it onto a knob to have that control change control the given knob. And in Reactor, you can have a single uh, MIDI CC value control as many knobs as you like. So you can just drag and drop them. All 
All right, so this technique will work for any reactor ensemble, and I'm not sure exactly what comes with the free reactor player, but I know a lot of the factory instruments do. Um, one of the great ones that comes with complete is Monarch. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to screw around with Monarch yet, but it's uh, pretty awesome from what I have seen. And again, it's uh, dead simple to just connect any uh, of our PDCC values to any of the knobs. Alright, so next let's check out some FM8 um, modulations that we can do. And FM8 is actually really great for this sort of stuff, and I'll show you why. Um, we can actually load in several different sounds at once into a single instance of FM8 and then kind of like morph between them. And we're going to need to go into the full view to do that, so click on the pencil icon. And um, I haven't chosen a sound to do this with yet, so I'll just try and find one real quick. Okay, so we have our um, little XY box up here, and we can drop in uh, presets into the corners of the box. And when we um, change uh, the position that we are currently playing back at, we can morph from one sound to another. And we can use our mini pads to control the position in the box by turning on the MIDI learn button which is in the right hand side over here and next we can select the box and press a note and the uh, connection will be made automatically for us So another interesting thing we can do in FM8 is go into the Expert tab here, and we have this little FM Matrix box on the side. <laughs> and when we turn on the MIDI Learn button, we can actually control the depth of any one of these boxes, which is controlling the amount of modulation between one of the oscillators and another oscillator. Alright, so FM8 can give you some really great expressive sounds and has a lot of options for this sort of stuff. It's pretty interesting. And finally, let's just check out um, how to do some MIDI assignments in Absinthe. It's pretty simple as well. I'm just going to load up an Absinthe sound here to start. And as with the other ones, we want to click on the little pencil tab and give us the full Absinthe interface. So to make assignments, go to the Perform tab, which is located at the top here. And um, we can make our MIDI assignments from the various tabs uh, that are available to us inside here. So for example, we can just select any one of these um, that have already been uh, turned into MIDI assignments and use the MIDI Learn button to control that parameter with our pads.
because absinthe is such a powerful synth, you can go pretty deep with this. Um, we can also use the assignment tabs to uh, create more assignments. And you can just create some really expressive sounds. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty good synth to use for this sort of stuff. All right, so this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Uh, if you did, please check out our website. We're coming out with a bunch of stuff every week. Um, have a good week, and I hope we'll see you next time.